Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Building Kessel in LEGO Weekly segment. Today we have week number three, and as you guys can see behind me, we have quite a little bit of stuff to show you guys. I've been outlining and designing and prototyping basically a lot of essential key parts of the mock, so today's episode is going to be pretty important. Before we get started, I do want to give a huge, huge thank you to Brickstuff for being the first official sponsor of not only my channel and my career, but also Building Kessel. If you guys missed the announcement video, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you guys to check that out. Basically, Brick Stuff is an amazing company that makes custom light-up kits for sets, mocks, all that kind of stuff, and they were generous enough to give me a sponsorship for Kessel, and I'm going to be using a whole bunch of their products in my mock. Most notably, I'm going to be using their UCS Millennium Falcon custom light-up kit in my own custom UCS Kessel Run Falcon. Quite a bit of mouthful, but it's going to be really fun, so I do want to give a huge thank you to Rob from Brick Stuff, and you guys can also benefit from this if you guys want to use the discount code on your screen right now. Go to BrickStuff.com whenever you order or whatever you want to order from their website. Make sure you guys use that coupon code whenever you order. It's a fantastic deal. They already got some pretty good prices, um, so that discount really just helps you guys out even more. But anyways, guys, so we have a list of things I want to cover in today's episode. Number one, I started to outline the entire mock, as you guys can probably see behind me. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second. Number two, I started to make up some little mock-ups or pre-designs of the little acid pools on Kessel, if you guys are not familiar with this or what this kind of is. I'll put a picture on your screen right now. This is a essentially what it is. It's basically like little mini pools of acid, um, basically with like some different fuel cells and pipes leading out. So I kind of did a little bit of pre-designing for that. I'm going to show you guys two different things that I kind of came up with. I also finished a really cool rock border around the mock, which I'm going to show you, as well as I actually started some of the mountains. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about today, along with a lot of future plans that I want to discuss with you guys. So we got an action-packed episode. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you guys are brand new, make sure you click that subscribe button. So that way you guys know as soon as I post these awesome Kessel videos. But without any further delay, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into today's segment all right guys so first off let's go ahead and talk about this little rock border that I kind of made for the edge of the mock if you guys are actually familiar with rich boy Jane Garrett's crate this is gonna look very familiar essentially it's just half of the height of what they did I really like the way that the rocks looked on their crate and I kind of wanted to simulate that with Kessel so you guys can see here along the entire border we did do a little bit of a rock work kind of pattern here just a whole bunch of one by two slopes um, some cheese slopes and then a few tan bricks mixed in here and there, but I really, really like the way this came out. I think adding a border like this just adds a new level to the mock, which I'm super, super happy about. So the border of that wraps around this entire side. I'm not gonna have it go onto the two sides over there because that's not really gonna be seen by anybody, and I figured if I could save the pieces, I definitely will. And next, guys, we kind of have a little bit of an overview of the entire mock. You guys can see I did start to outline the mountains, and you guys can kind of see the curve that I'm planning. Now, this area right here, guys, is going to be that main door on Kessel. I'll try and put an image up on your screen right now if I can find one while I'm editing it, but like I said before, it's hard to kind of get a lot of reference material with only Battlefront 2, um, so I'm going to have to kind of wait for the movie to come out, as I've said multiple, multiple times, but this is the general layout and the general kind of design that I want to have with the mock. Obviously, the Falcon's going to be much bigger. Basically, the plan is I think the engines of the Falcon are going to be right alongside that little acid pool right there and then this front hatch is actually going to be somewhere right here so it's a pretty big falcon it's going to be definitely covering this general area right here so that's kind of why i put the falcon there i'll get more into these acid pools in just a second but but i'm really liking the way that everything's turning out um over there is going to be a second door which i'm pretty pretty excited to put there um obviously i do have to finish outlining the mountain over there but this is the general look of what kessel is going to look like and it's really nice to start seeing the progress in actual in a physical form. Um, last week, obviously, we didn't have any progress because I showed you guys my LDD version of the Falcon. So I'm very, very happy that we were able to finally get some build progress to show you guys today because being able to visualize what you're building in the space that you're able to work with is a very, very important thing. It's something that I can't stress enough to mock builders. You can think about it over and over again of what you want to do in your head, but once you finally start getting a little bit of an idea in terms of the space and the area and the parts that you're working with, you can really start to visualize and really start to put your plans together. So that is really cool. Now, obviously, you guys can see I've started to plate off some of the areas of the mock, and I've actually already started to run low on these plates. So I can find them actually in here. This is where I essentially keep all of my... Um, filler stuff like that so I don't know if it's actually going to be in here I thought my other plates would be in here but this is crate by the way so I still have all that to sort and this top one's all filler that I'm using for the mock so 
So we still have a lot of stuff to sort through, but I'm not gonna really worry about that. I'm gonna kind of go through that on a needed basis, but I think in here actually might be what I have left to work with in terms of plates. So here we have the one by two slopes in dark gray and regular gray. Okay, so here we have some four by six, or not four by six, four by eight plates that I ordered. Um, these guys are actually the only four by eight plates that I have, and obviously this is not gonna be enough to finish everything that we have here. So I got to put some more orders with that. And then here are the really, really important ones. These are some six by six tan plates. These are the ones that I've been using pretty much throughout here. And you guys can see this, this bag was completely packed full. And this is everything that I have so far in the mock. So I have a few more orders of those coming in. What's really good is I'm going to be able to save the tan parts because basically the only places that I'm going to be using tan plates is going to be the exterior of the mountain and the very, very border going around it one plate deep. And then the rest that's inside, I'm going to be able to use the white or green plates that I kind of use from, from crate or something like that. So I'm going to be able to save a lot of money and a lot of parts. So that's always good. Um, I'm, that being said, I'm definitely going to need to go ahead and start ordering a lot more plates because obviously you guys can see we're we're not even a quarter way done with plating. And I'm probably by the time that I finish using all the plates that I already have on hand, I'm going to have to order probably at least three or four more orders of the same exact amount. So obviously we have a lot to work with. Last but not least, guys, let's go ahead and talk about these acid pools. Now, it's a little tough to get on camera just because of the way my camera is oriented, but it's actually more of a green kind of color, like the acid is on Kessel. When I, what I do plan on doing is getting some lime green plates. Right now, under these one by two um, teal tiles, I have regular normal green plates. So I'm gonna be getting in some lime plates. I'm gonna be swapping those out, see if that green kind of protrudes a little more. That's gonna be true to Kessel and stuff like that. But this is the overall design that I've kind of come up with for the acid pools. Obviously we have a bigger one here and a smaller one over there, but basically they're exactly the same. And now the idea is I'm gonna try and put a image up on your screen right now to show you guys what this is eventually gonna look like but there's pretty much like some fuel cells or some really like really cool cylinders and pipes going everywhere so that stuff is all gonna be in by next week or the following I do have some orders coming in with all that kind of stuff and I do kind of have to come up with the exact um, design that I kind of want to use for that but I'm a really big fan of how these came out I think it looks really nice especially if you take a step back and you kind of see that break up with that whole kind of bluish green color I think that adds a really really nice contrast to the rest of the dark tan regular tan gray mock so I'm a really big fan of how these guys came out definitely let me know what you guys think of this I think it looks really really nice and like I said before um, the Falcon engine is probably gonna be somewhere towards the back of that acid pool right there and then this front escape pod is probably gonna be leaning right over this area right here so that's kind of there just to give you guys a little bit of a general idea as to what this thing is going to look like. And this mountain is probably going to be around two thirds the height of crate, realizing how much mountain that I'm going to have to do right now. I'm realizing that I'm probably not going to be able to build the mountain as high as I would have liked. Um, although we do have plenty of time. So that being said, if it does come to a point where I do have more time to do it, I'm definitely going to go ahead and expand the mountain. But, but right now my goal is to probably get it to about here at the very least, which is still really high if you think about it. So, so that's the plan. But now thinking of it, I think that's everything that we got. We went over the mountain. We went over the new border. We, we went over the acid pools. And we went over the entire design layout of it. So, so that's going to wrap up this part of today's segment. Let's go ahead and outro the video. So guys, that's going to wrap up today's Kessel segment, week number three. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Like I said before earlier in the video, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. Helps out a lot. And make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to follow this amazing Lego building journey. I'm really, really happy with what we got done this week. Um, next week, school is going to be starting up for me. So the progress is going to be a little bit less than what it has been. I know this is the only week where we had actual building progress. But um, that being said, since school starts, up I'm gonna be a lot more busy so uh, I'm not gonna have all the time in the world to work on this mock so so the progress that's gonna be in these Kessel segments from now on is probably gonna be a little bit less than this obviously I'm gonna try and devote as much time as I can basically between myself juggling school classes being a full-time student and working a part-time job to fund this mock um, I don't have a lot of free time so I'm gonna make you a separate video on that probably like an end of summer update for the channel so definitely stay tuned for that but guys let me know what you think let me know what you think of the acid pools let me know what you think of the the mountains that I've kind of outlined. Let me know what you think of the design for the mountain formation, if that kind of makes sense. And just let me know what you guys think of the mock in general. Um, it's really, really awesome to finally have 
the mock outline. It's really kind of cool to see a visual of what I'm working with um, and obviously having all the Battlefront 2 um, reference material for now, waiting for the movie to come out in a few weeks. Um, we're really going to start getting in gear and we're really going to start hammering out some progress, which is always fun. Guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Brickstar for sponsoring this video. Um, you guys are going to see a lot more mentions of Brick Stuff in the haul video for all the Falcon parts, the haul video for Brick Stuff, and any other um, Kessel segments relating to the Millennium Falcon that I will be building. Once again, guys, use that coupon code on the website for an amazing discount off of their amazing products. So, guys, that brings week three of Building Kessel to a close. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Peace.